Welcome back. And we are about to launch campaign on the west side. I kind of figured it would be a lot better than to say welcome to episode 6, 7 or 8 or something because I probably will over record or do something. So, Anyway, what I will say is in the last episode was we have finally been able to receive Nanban support. Um, well, okay, we're not having any Nanban trade ships, but things are getting interesting. The Ito, probably by my very shitty stealthy maneuvers, have figured out that I'm probably going to invade somewhere around there. Though, at the moment, they have a very unconcentrated defense force. But we do have quite a large fortress to take, and they do have some very well-trained katana camp. And Naginata Samurai. Shit. All I've got is uh, a crap ton of bow kabayas, a fair amount of spearmen, but not enough interesting things. So, I'm... Oh, yes, that's why. I wasn't going to attack until I had two more groups of um, Naginata infantry. Cool, cool. Right. That's like some annoyed teenager. Uh huh! Right, Mom! Uh huh! I'm coming! Jeez, God! Anyway, um, yeah, so the plan is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be invading Hayuga and heading over to Osumi and Satsuma um, whilst leaving a defense contingency at Hayuga. I'm just going to send my ninja to move around. Um, so, yeah, if I can find any assassins. If I find any generals, assassinate them, I will. Oh dear, yes. Um, I'll prepare armies to make a move down south to Osumi, and then slowly but surely we'll be able to start making a major push towards taking over the southern regions of western Japan. But of course we can't do anything until spring, because it's a lot better to not invade a place if Albeit it will mean that the enemy can launch attacks for about nine months of the year, which ain't going to be good. But at the same time, we are in a very good position that the enemy, that the um, Ito have many enemies, and also that we have a sizable defense force in where we are. Or one can hope at least that we have a sizable defense force. Ah, uh, ninja! Once again has been detected! Right, I'm going to move away from that guy now. Um, we have a contingency of samurai dudes again. Clearly they don't like me. Should I just invade Osumi instead? I mean, there's a lot more terrain to cover, but at the same time, it's a lot safer. I might do that actually. Instead of attacking from Hayuga, that could be sort of a. We can kind of do a Normandy style, take over Satsuma and Osumi, and head slowly up north. But that means I'm going to need two armies. Otherwise, we're never going to be able to hold out on the other ones. That, or I leave one army to attack so much up one side, and then have another army attack another point up that side. It's not a bad idea, is it? So if I take over S Osumi, hold Osumi for a while and then head up towards Hayuga. I take a server of Satsuma and Osumi, hold both of those for a while, then take move up towards Hayuga, then Bungo, and then hold for a while. That should be alright. Yeah, okay, never mind. We're not going to attack Hayuga. That is not my Normandy. Hayuga is not a Normandy. Okay, we've got roughly one more turn before those guys are done. I'm going to make double check, pre double check preparations. So, fair amount of spearmen, not enough archers. I just have this feeling that the, once we start attacking, we will be in very difficult scenarios. So, um, ah, cool. Um, what do they got? A sword school. Um, I'm gonna have a siege engineers workshop because this siege engineers workshop. For those of you who haven't really played the campaign, although by now probably you've done the campaign far many more times than I could possibly count, um, it starts with the gunpowder bit. So, if you have the fire, where is it? Yeah, Siege Engineers workshops, you first of all get your firebomb throwers, then you get your mangadels or primitive catapults. Then, if you've researched gunpowder techniques, you can then start recruiting your own matchlock ashigaru slash samurai ashigaru, uh, samurai matchlock. 
But for this point, I reckon a, n a good thing because I got s rice exchange there. No kind of defense. So I say because um, we've got sword school over there. Yari drill yard over here. I say another archery dojo should be a good idea. Bingo. And that way then our riches will be rewarded with... Hello, what's this? Oh! Beauty. Does that mean I get more than one? Or is that just because I'm constructing one? Why have I not even discarded constructing one? No, I haven't even started constructing one. I know why as well, because I know I'm going to have difficulty in constructing a ball. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Once again, pubescent teenager coming out of a jam. Yeah! So we got one more turn and then we'll head down south towards uh, Kyoshu, take over Asumi and Satsuma, and then my Metsuke can hold out well, along with a small contingency force at Satsuma, and Osumi can pretty much do the same thing. Once we've gained those, build up the castles, and hopefully the income that we can gain from their farming will hopefully provide a lot more copper to be able to oh. help us in our Umerio. conquest. And then once we've taken over a fair amount of portion of south, south southwestern Japan, we can then start saying, We're Christian! And have matchlocks and ammunition and a crap ton of land to say, Ha! <laughs> You're not going to get us. Because another advantage is, obviously, trade! And not just one, not two, not three, but four! Four areas of which we can trade. Though, to be honest, I'd be lucky just to get the one after taking over Kyoshi. But once we've taken Satsuma and a sizable terrain advantage, we may be able to use the trade off um, Kyoshu to um, assist us in our defense of Shikoku. Because I reckon a few people around here probably won't like me. And as the Aito are currently making conquests to the north, I probably should attack sometime soon. So next turn, those guys will get on the boat. We're going to go down towards south Shikoku, down Kyoshu and knock those buggers out. And they'll be like, Wah! Flank attack! Um, we've identified all the clans, haven't we? Yep. And some people like us! Yeah! <laughs> Ironically, the people who we're trying to kill like us. These buggers don't, but let's face it, none of them do. Ah, yes. Currently researching that awesome because then we get a tax reform then we get that money anyway end the turn and so ends the year of 1548 the Aito currently using their armies are moving about with crap ton of ships if I become Christian I gonna need to have a very powerful oh hello the orange guys, I'm sorry, just noticed on the mini-map, a bunch of orange guys are fighting back against the purple guys, which means if we become allies with them, we get to kick more ass! Yeah! Armed with the deadly yes. The Go samurai. on, boys. Make me proud. Naginata, dun 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 dun, Naginata. Another clan destroyed. Kikiwawa. Oh, Kiki... Ka Kikawa? Oh, Kikawa. Right, okay. Ka Kikawa. Kiki Kikawa. And some poor bugger having his head ripped off by an eagle. Um, so the northern reaches. Oh, Iwami. Huh. Wouldn't it be ironic? Anyway. What's the turn now? Um, I reckon we won't be able to get there ease we won't be able to get oh shit we're gonna be getting there for a fair amount of time right well better go now so we've got my army a large army with ships and everything and you know guys praying to the high heavens just for the right let's just keep scouting out the terrain so they've got blacksmith and something tells me yeah there's an odachi dojo so yeah but if we can capture both Satsuma and Asumi, we'll have the ability to upgrade my dudes or upgrade my soldiers who have a train from Satsuma to have better armor, better equipment, um, and a much higher survivability rate than currently at the moment. 
which then may put me on equal terms with Hayuga. That, or if I'm going to take out Hayuga, I'm going to bring Cannon, so... See, how much do they earn? You see, that's a lot of money. I mean, if you look at the import value of what I've got, which is 550 coin, and look at what they can get off just one trading area, that's going to be a lot of money that they're earning. So, obviously, the Ito are current... Obviously, the Ito, once we've, not, once we've severed their trade connection and wear, in, wear out their armies, it's going to be a piece of cake to be able to somehow get across them. I mean, you know... I've got a bunch of people here, we've got a crap load of spearmen, we've got generals defending at all positions, obviously I'm going to keep my eye on the recruitment bar just to make sure, you know, we've got a pretty f small defense over at F, I'm just going to recruit a couple of those guys, and it's just, we're going to do what we can to make sure that if we're invaded, we have something of a force, because I'm going to be fully committed to taking over Asumi and Satsuma for sure. Anyway, next turn. So the Takeda are currently doing their thing with their own ships, but Ito are still making maneuvers. <sighs> I wonder if they're going to be doing anything against there. The Imagawa have a reasonably size, reasonable sized fleet. Um. Yeah, we're going to need him. Construction. Ah, great. Sweet. Um, I'm going to get a Buddhist temple. Because I'm going to be import. I'm going to be up getting an Amban trade port. Which will definitely, definitely help out. So my army, I've got him. <laughs> great. Oh, he's very loyal. That's good. Uh, do I want to bring him I don't want to bring him I'll bring him in a second wave we're too committed to go now if we, it's gonna take us like more what a couple more turns before we even hit Asumi so let's let's make the commitment <laughs> hi Hayuga mind don't mind us we're just attacking they got? oh boy he's got a weird looking guy with a ponytail on the back and he's got matchlock <laughs> imported See, when they start going, oh, you're going to become Christian, we're like, oh, look what you're doing, you dumbass. You've got bloody matchlocks. Honestly, it's like having an affair. Anyway. Roads. I want to upgrade my roads, or do I want to keep my roads? I'm going to keep my roads the way they are. They're, they're pretty decent. One more turn, and then we can increase 5% on tax, and then afterwards we can then... Oh, hello. Got Bowmaker as well. Um, it also provides, the next thing also allows me to build land consolidation, which is the next level up in farming, which, because we are the Choso Kabi, and because one of our main strengths is farming, it will be an amazing help. So, yeah, I'm going to put you in Tosa, and tell you to sit on your ass for a while, and then when I need you, I'll send you along with some Namban support. But at the moment, we're just going to take over Asumi and Satsuma. I have to admit, I love this Fall of the Samurai campaign. I mean, I've played from what I've played a bit. But the only thing that kind of niggles me about it is the fact that we, um, they all go, they all speak English. And it's like a Jap with a Japanese accent, and it's like, ah, uh, because you know it's good because obviously, um, you know, probably at the time, well, hey, um, at the time, probably a lot of people spoke um, spoke the lang English language, but it's just it's a bit of a disappointment, sort of like ah, uh, because it has a not really good accent. If you know how some in some cases some accents sound better with other for English accent English. English in different accents sound better with different languages. So, for example, in my personal opinion, I find a German English accent to be better than, say, a French English accent. Because, you know, half the time with the French, you know, every time they speak, it sounds like they're about to throw up. But, yeah, it's my opinion. Um, am I in a good position to do something? Yes. <laughs> Ha! Dooney, 
What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Break it down, yeah. Yeah. And now I'm just gonna be like, ha! Ah, I can do something with your land. <laughs> Don't kill me. Um, agents, get off the boat, you Daisy. Oh come on. Right. Um, I'm gonna kind of put my dude over here. To kind of keep an eye, his eyes peeled. Next turn, we'll be able to attack Asumi, and we'll have like what maybe one dude to worry about. So I'll auto resolve that, and then um, we'll be able to solve that. And then next turn, a massive Ito army comes along. Ah! Right, so we've just declared war with the Ito, and it's not looking good. Well, at the moment, it's looking all right. But I'm kind of worried about them out of sight, the size of their fleets, because until I can start using matchlock ships, I'll be honest with you, naval strategy is not my forte. When it comes to ships in Napoleon, much better. But oh, hello, well, hey! <laughs> Told you they were a resourceful bunch of bastards, didn't I say? <laughs> Okay, that's only like what one dude. So let's also do that. Come on, no casualties, no casualties, no casualties. Come on! Yes! <laughs> that's right, you Osumian bastards. You're mine now. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Well done, well done, Chosokabe. You have done a very good job. Right. Next, we're going to be building a Yari drill yard um, and holding out for a turn. And then next turn, I'm going to send this guy um, with... I'm going to send him with maybe a few more of his dudes. Yeah, send him with a few more of his dudes and leave the spearmen um, like so. Yeah, I'll just send about that much. And that should be enough to be able to hold over Satsuma. And then... Um, <laughs> there he is, like, ha! Let's save. So, one quick battle after another. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to... I'm hoping we can just hold on to them for a while. Because if we can, that'll be amazing. And if we can guarantee, if we can hold the enemy off and break his back, um, then fingers crossed it'll look... Good. Fingers crossed we'll be able to start using his trade routes and trading stuff and then we can earn more money because look after just taking that we're back up to income so it's definitely worth doing it. Um, yeah Metsuke will watch over Osumi um, and, uh, and then once we've done that I reckon within the 8, 16 turns it will take to research um, the special bribe thingy I, I can't remember what technology it was called Anyway, the technology I'm currently researching at the moment, once I'm sure it will take a, a bun I'm sure we won't have made too much progress by the time that's researched. Or at least we have done, so that way we can start building um, a lot more land. Oversee the settlement. And yeah, let's start building, because we're gonna need to build that up pretty quickly. Um that should be enough. Two archers. No. How many archers do we have on them? Yeah, I'll leave that to them. Yeah, Vogue. Right. Okay, so we are going to probably suffer a couple of casualties, but, um, yeah, one, two, three. That's very good, considering. Page far away occupier. Oh, come on. You love me. Fine, I'll exempt you from tax, you bloody old pig. Shit. It's a lot of resistance. And yet, you want Shimazu. Huh. Screw you guys. Anyway, recruitment. Um, we'll fix those guys up. Um, what's this? Nodachi Dojo. Ugh. I don't like Nodachi. Not my fan. But we've got them. That's the most important thing. 
Once we built um, this, once those soon he's got some defenses, right, and I'm going to put my dude as reconnaissance. You're going to be my early warning. Sadly, you haven't got a massive um, microphone to shout when the enemy comes, but we can use your intelligence skills enough. Um, let's have a look, see. Not the cleverest idea, but all right. Right. It's kind of a bit of a gamble I'm doing, but what I'm going to try and do is try and um, try and see if I can bring the other general over. That will get the ships back, and then have some reinforcements to bring over as well. But I. I wouldn't want to risk it, not unless I've got some Namban trade ships alongside. Uh, okay, so we're looking at three turns for a Yari drill yard, and once we've built the castle, archery dojo. And then over at Satsuma, we're going to build another um, Yari drill yard, so that way we've got Naginata Samurai and Katana Samurai both having a lot more... Um, Oh, that's good. That'll be that'll be helpful. I think I'll keep it like this um, because then it will take more time for the enemy to attack if we're lucky. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Here we go. There's the first large Ito army told you they'd be quick. And there's their ever so large navy. So, at the moment, we're on our own. Touch wood. And they're on their own. Touch wood. So if this conflict just remains to be like that. And, oh, hello. Master, one of our sea trade routes yeah, yeah, is yeah, under yeah. attack. Shut up. <laughs> Good. Okay, so the Hello, Sake. The Sake guys are currently not liking Itos, and they've taken a good portion of their terrain. This is good. This is very good. I'm very impressed. Because that means then we've got a lot more chances to hold off with whatever we've got. I'm going to kind of bring a bit more bows and spearmen to bear. So... It'll probably take them about maybe one more turn to reach me, but by that point we'll hopefully have... We've got a decent sized army over there with matchlock and everything. <laughs> Ninja! Yes! No! No! You can't possibly! Right, scrap that plan. Ass assassinate one of those dudes. For the love of all that's holy, assassinate one. If one general dies, then that means we can at least stall the advance and perhaps stop them. Ooh. I want to kill one of these buggers, and I am. Ninja, go kill someone. Ninja, go kill someone. Ninja, damn you, ninja, you're shit. Crap. I should have just tried to sabotage. Better than nothing, but oh well. Anyway. And get back to the construction. <laughs> now, hopefully by next turn we can have something of a defense. We've got to grab a couple more. Oh, okay, one more. One more bow unit. Um, and Satsuma. If we can hold off this army, it's not a very large army, but they have matchlock. <laughs> Shit. And they've got experienced units. They've got four katana samurai units, and that's a lot of dudes. I've only got three and a contingency of two Naginata and two archery. So if we can if they can stall their operations for a bit, we should be fine. If we come over here, of course we're fucked. <laughs> Just a bit. Right. Summer. Next turn. Right, and there's my naval dudes. Currently making a gambit for the um, coast. And then, hopefully, we can 
for the love of all that's holy. Ah, shit. They're going for Osumi. We're screwed. Okay, so the majority of my plan may have just gone to pot, but we will fight anyways. Okay, the battle looks very much not in my favour. So. Okay, so the battle looked uh, looks pretty grim in my eye, but we do have one group of those dudes and my matchlock archers. Oh boy, this is not going to be a pretty battle. Uh. Okay, so the majority of my enemy's army is here with imported matchlock archer and bow samurai. Oh joy. We've also got two, one Naginata Samurai and Yari Cavalry, but I'm going to be focusing a majority of my matchlocks over there. Shosokabi Bosa as well. My Samurai Archers are going to be the main, like, a defense force of the entire, of the uh, field. Samurai retainers, along with these two groups of Yari Ashigaru, will be the defense that we have against the Naginata and Katana. But obviously, um, with their upgraded armor and weapons, um, it will only be a matter of time before they can pretty much overrun my position. So, it's not going to be an easy fight. If we can hold this side off, though, even if it's for a few minutes, or do as much possible damage as we can to the Katana Samurai units. I'm pretty certain that once my Daimyo comes back with a blast, he'll be able to annihilate more of their infantry. Gotta quickly... Don't know how much... Okay, so my... Making a run for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, use flame. Please. Uh, sorry for the lag. Target their katana samurai! You target me. Games are lagging like a bitch as well. Not too good, but hopefully she can last just a little while longer. <laughs> General is in grave danger, my lord. Right. It's always handy to have um, some bow. It's always handy to have some bow. Just look up at the sky. Not lag at all. Um, it's always handy. This is kind of a tactic I use quite um Let's See, are they trying to climb the walls? Yes, they are. Right. What I'm going to try and do now is a tactic I learned a while ago um, with matchlock units. Although, admittedly, we're not going to be having too much of success, we're going to do what we can to try and reduce the amount of units they have at the end of the battle. Make it a costly victory for them. Start shooting then, you dumbasses!
guys, engage them. You archers, engage. We can break the Ari actually. No, don't you dare. 